All right, bitches, so we're back for the adventures of Cloud motherfucking Strife, and Tifa's got her limit break, and she's gonna fuck shit up. Um, so before we head to Bone Village, I'm gonna collect a number of different items that we can get. Um, I didn't have the dazers, so I wanted to steal it from the battery caps, yes. Um, after this, we're probably gonna go morph some stuff. Uh, we'll get to, uh, Bone Village real soon, though. Dolphin Blow, bitch! woo hoo hoo Love that! Oh, these dudes are still alive. Fuck you. Get out of here. Get some chainsaw, pussy. Alright, so Dazers. That is the first item on my list. Um, we are actually also over near Rocket Town. Uh, you know, like right after you leave Mount Nival. Yeah, there's Mount Nival right there. Uh, Rocket Town is in that direction. And there's the buggy in Nibelheim. Uh, okay, so now we want to go to the beaches of Cosmo Canyon. Alright guys, so we're in a battle with the Crown Lances here, and I actually want to morph one of these guys. Now, it can be a little tricky doing this. Basically, what you gotta do is, you need to lower their health down quite a bit. Uh, and once it's low enough, you can morph. Uh, is laser gonna hit? Yes it is. Let me just see if morph will work right here. Okay. No, actually, one more mor morph and we're good. Oh, goddammit, come on. Come on, Cloud motherfucking Strife. These status effects, you must be joking. And here we go. Now he should be done. Boop! And we get a Dream Powder, another item that we did not have. There are some uh, really unique and good things you can get later on using Morph. It lowers your attack by a quite a significant amount. Uh, I believe Yuffie's ultimate weapon actually doesn't get the uh, damage reducer. There's that dream powder that uh, other weapons do. So Yuffie could use her ultimate weapon and she'll do normal damage with it, which is awesome. And there's the dazers right there. Okay, so next I'm going to head over to... Uh, we're going to go to Gengaga, actually. All right, here we go. So here's the next enemy I want to morph. This is actually the Kimara bug. Let's see how much health you've got. Uh, wow, 700. That's a little bit here. I don't think an Ice 2 will kill him. How much is it going to do? Oh, Cloud stopped, isn't he? Uh, I could use Big Guard, which I think will fix that. Get some haste action going. Does that unstop him? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we're just waiting for a cloud, then. And there we get the Hourglass. That is another item we did not have. Alright, so after this, we're done just collecting the uh, random items around the world. There's not that much I can get through morphing just quite yet. Uh, stops all opponents. Not bad, not bad. Uh, so now, I actually want to go to one quick place because um, very soon we're actually going to lose uh, the buggy. We're not going to have the buggy anymore. And the buggy and the tiny Bronco will leave the world map. Uh once a certain event in disc 2 happens uh the only area in the game you can no longer return to in disc 2 is this little area under the gold saucer here this little desert uh so i'll go in here real quick right cloud doesn't have that so let's do a trine um and this is working out perfectly too because very soon is going to be the boss we're going to be using omni slash on so we can finally see that for the first time And Barrett right now, he's still on his level 2 limit because we have not seen Hammer blow his second level 2 limit yet. Uh, but he does have Satellite Beam unlocked, his first level 3 limit. Alright, so if we just drive into the little coral prison here, um, this will actually take us to the desert area. And... Uh, there is one particular enemy I do want to encounter in this area. After running around, uh, I believe it's 10 screens or so, we will encounter 
uh, a chocobo cart. Um, and the, the, the encounter rate around this area, I think it's something like 90% of the time you fight this guy, the landworm. And the other 10% of the time, there's a different uh, enemy encounter you, you will run into. So, um, I just want to get that other enemy encounter before we leave here. So, I'll just run around a bit. Alright, yeah, I'll, um... I'll bring you guys back once I get this encounter. I don't know exactly how long it's gonna take. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Alright, here we go. Uh, so here we have the extremely rare, um, Cactuar here. Uh, this guy will escape pretty quickly, and it's pretty hard to hit him, but we do have Bahamut that'll take out this Cactuar. Uh, Bahamut's what I was waiting to get so we could easily just kill this dude. Now, Cactuars? This is actually the only place in the game where you can fight Cactuars. Uh, there's a second type, uh, technically a different enemy called the Cactuar. ER. There's an E in the name, so I don't know how you say it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show this guy off real quick before we lose the chance to fight him completely, but there he was. Uh, he, I believe he does give us 10,000 gil, though, which is actually pretty sick. I'll take that. So there it was. Um, like I said, you know, we'll lose the ability to come here pretty soon. We won't have the buggy. Uh, I was saving this area until we got Bahamut. Because I knew Bahamut would be able to just pierce uh, the Cactar's evasion and defenses and take it out real quickly. Um, and we also now have Cloud's uh, limit meter filled up. But we're going to save using that for a particular boss coming up. Uh, very nice. Barret does almost have his limit gauge filled up too, which I do like. Because then we could use Hammer Blow and we could switch him over to level 3. But this does take care of all the extra stuff I wanted to do before we head to Bone Village. Uh, we're now ready. Yeah, the Cactars. It, most people will never encounter them because you do have to be in this little desert area to even see the Cactar. And I was wrong. It's actually only a... 6% chance of fighting him. But, uh, it really, it has, it didn't take me that long. It only took me 10 or so battles. Because you could tell, because Barret doesn't even have his fucking limit break yet. Although, it looks like next hit he'll get it, which is sweet. Alright, I don't, I'm not gonna cut out me finding this Chocobo cart, because, you know, it does take several screens running through before you do see it, so. Although, I guess, if I get into any bat any more battles, I might cut them out. But maybe n no, because the next battle, Barret's going to get his limit break, so fuck that. Ah, there we go. Alright, so now our good friend here will take us out of this desert. Oh, uh, yeah. Cloud motherfucking Strife sure does want to ride. And we're going to get the fuck out of here. That's actually the same carriage, um earlier in the game that Tifa was on when she went to Don Corneo at Wall Market. But of course, it's not, you know, not like actually the same one with the same guy and stuff, but it's the same model. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to uh, just cut us over to Bone Village because we are already there. So I'll BRB once we're uh, like right outside Bone Village. Alright guys, so we're back over at the Bone Village. Now, there actually is a very special enemy I want to fight. Um, but first, let me go in here and we'll grab all the treasures. The main reason we're going to come in the Bone Village itself first is actually because uh, I need a rest. Uh, our MP <laughs> values are pretty low here. Um, okay, so we were here at the Bone Village before. But this is actually the very first time that we're able to search uh, and dig here in... Oh, yeah, and the City of the Ancients is called the Forgotten City. Okay, well, we'll <laughs> thanks, fucking bitch. All right, yeah, where's Aerith? She went in the Sleeping Forest anyway. 
Uh, we can't get through the sleeping forest. Aerith was able to because she's an ancient, obviously. Huh. Like the land, a uh, history of the planet. Gotcha. Also, notice this fucking fighter jet right here. And then the giant T-Rex skull. Like, what the fuck is this? The T-Rex, a parasite Eve, and then like a fucking uh, jet from Star Wars. That's just like the beginning of The Force Awakens or that. See all a lot of the planes and stuff. Uh, but do you have anything we can buy? No, right? No garbage that we can get. We've already got that. We got that. Uh, go, 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 go. let me get one uh, hyper. All right, we're good. Um, okay, so now let's dig. There's a couple things we can get here. Some uh, interesting treasures. Uh, the most important thing we need is the lunar harp. In order to uh, go through the sleeping forest, we need to get this lunar harp first. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, this dude, he talks about, oh, the diggers and all this bullshit. Uh, we don't actually need to worry about putting staff in position as long as you know where to actually dig. The staff doesn't do jack shit. Uh, the lunar harp is, like, right about here. Uh, done. We're done. All right, go ahead. Bam. Ignite the bomb. Maybe, like, right... Yeah, it's, like, right here. All right, gotcha. All right, now this should get me the lunar harp. Maybe I gotta move around slightly, but that should be it. Uh, they're pretty easy about you don't have to be in the exact spot. Yeah, there it is. So we got the lunar harp. So now we can actually continue along with the story. Um, the key item, lunar harp, used to wake the sleeping forest. The Sleeping Forest, of course, that's that area that we saw Aerith in. That's where we got Kajada. So we've got that. Uh, there is a couple of other treasures we can grab while we're here, though. Um, okay, yeah, what else? Are, I think looking for good treasure will get us some of these items. Alright, now this one is... We want to head a little more to the right over here. And it looks like this is about the spot. Uh, we know we don't need anyone to search. Yeah, go ahead, set that bomb off. We're just blowing the ground up. Fuck you, ground. Blah, 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 don't care. Okay, search, yes. Uh-huh, got it, search. Oh, uh, there's a couple items we're gonna grab. Now, this should get us the bunt line. Uh, <laughs> Uh, not the blunt line, or, no, not the blunt line, which, uh, Wiz Khalifa likes. We want the bunt line. Uh, yep, there it is. This is a weapon for Vincent. Uh, I actually think it's a pretty solid weapon for Vincent, actually. Alright, next, we can grab... I want to get a Mega Elixir. Okay. Yeah, Mega Elixirs are fucking awesome. I'm not gonna poo-poo on that at all. Uh, so, yeah, probably good treasure, I assume. Uh, now this one, I'm thinking we want to look, like, right here. Nope. Yep, bomb, just whatever. Oh, this, this text, I just want to skip the fucking text. Yes, we got it. Haven't, don't, haven't these guys seen a cloud motherfucking strife every time he searched in the exact right spot? He knows what he's doing, fuckers, thank you. Uh, and we'll come back later on in Disc 2. We can come back here and get another key item that allows us to come back to Midgar. Alright, there is the Mega Elixir. Uh, I believe there's one more item that we want to grab. After this, I'm going to go outside and we're going to fight a special enemy. Uh, let's see. Now, now th what we're going to get here is actually the Mop. Uh, this is Sid's joke weapon. I think we want to go about right here. Yeah, so Sid... I love how Cloud is using a baseball bat with nails in it. Aerith had her umbrella. Sid is using a fucking mop. Like, Kate Sith is using a, a fucking seashell. Alright, so this should get us our mop. All right. And the mop. Okay, cool. 
So that is all of the treasure. Now, you can get um, unlimited elixirs, unlimited turbo ethers, unlimited ethers around this area. Uh, but the percent chances are kind of low. So even when I'm grinding for elixirs later on in the game, I'm probably not going to use this spot. Uh, I believe the elixir you can get like right here, but it's only a 14% chance. So, you know, it's kind of kind of tough. And you can also get uh, turbo ethers. They are actually pretty much right where this guy is. You can get turbo ethers. And then you can get regular ethers like right here. Uh, but we don't, we're not worried about ethers, turbo ethers, and elixirs I do want to get, but not at a fucking 14% chance. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on that. I'll, I'll pass. Because later on, um, in the final dungeon, where these enemies that I'm actually going to be looking for that we'll need to give the elixirs to, there's uh, battles where you could steal elixirs. And by then, we'll be such high level that the percent chance is pretty good. Alright, now there's a particular battle I want to get into. Oh, look, these guys. Uh, we can actually get um, level 4 suicide from these guys. I might learn it pretty soon, too, because we're actually about to get a third enemy skill materia. Alright, so we'll just kill these fucks. What are they called? Well, whatever. They're dead. That's what they're called. Hi, Potion. Thank you very much. Alright, come on. Where are these enemies? Uh, not only is there something I want to steal from them, but I also want to show just how powerful they are. This, this is a really interesting fight, actually. Ah, here we go. Fucking finally. Damn. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. Uh, I just want to show off the ridiculousness with this dude. Oh, you can't sense him. That's right. I, you can't sense this guy. Well, he's got 33,000 health. Uh, Vlacarodos, whatever. Um, we can steal something uh, that's actually pretty useful, so let me go ahead and do that. And then we'll show off Barrett's uh, hammer blow also. Yeah, Carob Nut. The Carob Nut is actually really important uh, to the Chocobo breeding side quest. Uh, so let's go ahead and use Hammer Blow, which this can instant kill the enemy if they can be instant killed. Which I doubt this motherfucker can be. Yeah. Alright, um, since he's so powerful, I do want to actually kill this dude. So let's do it. Mega Flare. Oof. I'm definitely not going to use Omni Slash, no. Uh, what, else, what else can we use? Odin, Kajada, all this shit. Bahamut is just so fucking badass. Now, you know, Hammer Blow... Actually, you know what? I actually thought Hammer Blow would do damage if it doesn't work the instant kill effect. But since it didn't, I'm going to go ahead and show off Hammer Blow again. So we can actually see the effect of what it does. Uh, I don't think this guy could be poisoned either. Let me see. Let me just use all my strongest attacks on him. Uh, oh, you can be poisoned. Okay, that'll help out a lot. Ah, uh, oh, man. I, I would love to pound this dude with a fucking Omni Slash, let me tell you. Uh, let's see. What's another strong move? We'll hit him with a uh, Fire 3. Tifa, let's hit him with a... I should start running away a little more. I'll probably do that off screen so that we can get more damage for a uh, Choco Buckle. Is this guy immune to gravity? He might be. Let me see. I think he is. 
Oh man, we are we are doing some big damage to him though. Shit. And since it you wow, okay, wow, even gravity works on him. Okay, that nice, and that's that's what I should be using, at least right now. Yeah, see, but this is just a normal ass enemy, and look at how much fucking health he has. It's just it's crazy. Uh, we'll hit him with uh, fire three. And yeah, like I was saying, since there's so many places to rest right near us, I'll just go absolutely all out using, you know, really strong magic attacks and shit. Okay, so there he's dead. Now, I do want to get, while I'm here... Um, I am... Well, actually, you know what? No, just the one carob nut will be fine for now. Uh, if I need to get more, I actually will want to do that while I'm doing the Chocobo Breeding episode anyway. So yeah, yeah, I'll save that for now. Uh, we just got the one carob nut for now. Uh, this is very important. This is how we'll be getting a, uh, blue river chocobo and a green mountain chocobo later on. So very important that we do that. Uh, but now that we fought him <clears throat> and we got all the bone village stuff... Let's go ahead and continue on, and let's wake up the sleeping forest with the Lunar Harp. Da -da -da -da. I do like this musical track right here. This, this one's pretty good. Okay. And then, <laughs> here, what about this? This is another great music track. God damn, the, the soundtrack for this game, too good. Alright, so here we go. The Lunar Harp wakes up the Sleeping Forest. Sleeping Forest awoke. So now I can actually continue on to the next screen here. But guess what, fuckers? Waking up the Sleeping Forest actually triggers a brand new Fort Condor battle. So before we continue on, uh, let me just go knock this Fort Condor battle out. Okay, guys, so we're up here on Fort Condor again, and again, let me show you our X-Potions are at 20, because the prize is going to be another 5 X-Potions. And here we go, let's go. Let's take these motherfuckers down. Get that money, get that cake, and there's again our delicious blank text box, but we check back. Boom, another 5x potions. Uh, so these prizes now for Fort Condor, these are actually pretty useful, uh, getting all these x potions like this. Uh, okay, so now I guess um, let's head back over to the Sleeping Forest in Bone Village.